If you're looking for better light at your desk, get this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I know a lot of us sit at our desk. Sometimes we're reading something. Sometimes we're looking at our phone. Sometimes we just need to illuminate our face. Say you're going on to a web meeting or having a Zoom call or doing some training. Well, if you're old school, you'd probably get yourself an old-fashioned lamp. But you know what? This is the modern day and age, and you can get something better. I picked this up. It's a cantilever bracket LED fill light, and I'm excited about this because it actually should be pretty minimalist. It actually should work with my desk very nicely, and it should be actually pretty versatile for lighting up stuff that I need to work on. If I'm taking some notes. I need to look at a piece of paper. I actually like my workspace well lit because a lot of times I actually have the lights in my office actually kind of dim, kind of like me, and it just kind of makes me feel a little more calm and laid back. But I picked this up because the light I'm actually using right now is about this big. It's just kind of an overhead light and it actually only illuminates a small little area. It's kind of more of a little spotlight and it's okay for illuminating exactly what I'm working on, but I wanted much brighter light and take a look at this guy. This is a giant panel. And what I love about this is you might use it for something that I'm not even thinking about, but you've got this panel kind of looks like one of those vanity mirrors, those bathroom mirrors, frosted piece of plastic right there. I mean, plastic housing here, but man, this is big. Obviously you can see it turns. So it'll turn this way and then 180 degrees this way. Obviously you could have it straight down. It pivots like this. It's got a nice resistance there. I'm not worried about those hinges wearing out. And then what we have are aluminum arms here, about a foot here, maybe 14 to 15 inches here. But then right down here, this is the money piece to me. This little C clamp will clamp onto your desk or your table. And so one of the things that I love about this, you can see a little rubber waffle pad there, is let's say you shoot videos. Let's say you shoot training videos. Let's say you're on YouTube with a bunch of the other weirdos. I could clamp this to my desk and not only use this to actually do work, but then I could flip it up and illuminate myself in a way that you would need something like a ring light or a spotlight. And because this is diffused, it's not going to give you that harsh flashlight effect. So I think it could be really useful for that. Now, the other thing I want to show you is we have some buttons here. So we have a touch panel. We've got a power button, a timer, I believe. This mode button, I believe, will go through some different colors. And then we can change the brightness of it right there. And then on the back, we have a single prong outlet, and that is to accept this power cord. So looks like we've got a lot of cord right there, so it should reach down to a floor outlet. So you plug it in there, and now what we have is a minimalist pivoting, articulating lamp. So I can actually kind of push it out of the way if I really need to, but I just love the fact that I could have it like this or swing it up like this, and we will test both of those right now. All right, so I'm here in my studio. I've turned off most of my auxiliary lights here my ring lights and all of that. I have my overhead light still on here because obviously I don't want to be pitch black. But if I were to film like this all the time, you would probably get pretty annoyed. Now I've got this lamp set up. I just wanted to have it in frame here. It's pretty cool looking. And I just want to go ahead and turn it on, hit this capacitive button right there and the light turns on. And a couple things that I want to show you is that, man, this illuminates my workspace unbelievably well. If I had a big workbench or a table, big drawing out there, this is producing a huge flood of nice diffused light. I really love it. But on top of that, I can change that color temperature by going to the M here and hitting that mode. So there's that really warm evening light. This is super easy on the eyes. We go here to the middle one. It's just a little bit more of that warmer white light and then that daylight white light here. But on top of that, I can go ahead and hit the plus or minus signs and go up in brightness or down in brightness. First of all, that bright light is very bright. And I love that I can step this down to a stage where it almost just glows. It actually doesn't even look like I'm being illuminated by this light, but that panel is still on. Especially if you're working in low light or something, then this is probably going to produce more light than you need. But I'm just going to turn it up here a couple of clicks. Because what I want to show you, turn it down just a little bit here. Because what I want to do now is actually rotate this out of frame and then I'm going to rotate the panel towards me. And what I love about this is that it works kind of like a ring light too. So I can actually go through the modes again here. Just fine. Ooh, I look very warm on that lowest setting. I kind of like this. It gives my skin a little bit of color. If I go daylight bright, sure. Kind of washes out everything a little overexposed. But you might want that. You might just want kind of that really bright picture. But if I go back to that middle one, it's pretty nice. If I go up here in brightness even a little bit better. But what I want to say here is that 
not only is it for working, but if you are kind of a modern worker, working remotely, taking those Zoom calls, doing meetings, doing online trainings, recording yourself for trainings, maybe you make YouTube videos like those morons on YouTube. This one I think does double duty. Not only is it a great minimalist lamp, right? So you can see here, I can just move it out of the way. I can illuminate my workspace. It stays out of the way. It's not like one of those big old school table lamps that has a big footprint and a big lamp shade around it. This is minimalist. So you can just push it out of the way, but then I can also rotate it around and use it for work. So this one is absolutely going on my desk because not only will it replace that tiny little light that I use to actually see my work, but it will also, I think, improve my videos when I'm sitting in front of my computer and recording where I don't really have a lot of great lights. So if you want to pick up this articulating LED light, I'll put a link to this one in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.